she had been insulted, sent death threats, and talked down to. But none came close to being jarring as her experience when she was arrested for her advocacy and speaking up. She may have played a warrior princess, but Lucy turned out to be a real-life Xena. However, as soon as the last season of Xena, the warrior princess wrapped up, it was as though she faded away from the limelight almost immediately. Now, this left her fans across the world asking burning questions like, what exactly happened to Lucy Lawless? Well, watch this video to the end to find out exactly what she's been up to. Hey, before we get to the video, I've noticed that only a small percentage of people that watch these videos are actually subscribed. So if you end up liking this video, would you consider subscribing? It's free and you can always change your mind. Enjoy the video. She's become an LGBTQ icon. From 1995 to 2001, her character Xena in Xena Warrior Princess was adored by numerous fans all over the world. She was even seen as an icon, especially for girls. However, as the show progressed, the viewers began to notice Xena's ambiguous relationship with her traveling companion, Gabrielle. Now, there was also some sexual pointers between the both of them, but the viewers were not certain about their relationship. Over the years, fans of the show tried asking Lucy about her relationship with Gabrielle and if they were gay, but she said she wasn't sure. Now, as soon as the show Xena the Warrior Princess ended, Lucy began to show her unwavering support for the LGBTQ community in several ways. Also in 2003, in an interview with Lesbian News, Lucy finally let the cat out of the bag when she said that her role as Xena was indeed gay, and she was proud of the part that she played in portraying same-sex relationships and bringing them to light. Now, over the years, she has been involved in creative works like her appearance in the LGBTQ drama The L Word in 2009, which was aimed to further encourage the lesbian community. Over the years, she's attended various LGBT celebrations and events in support of the community. For her unwavering support, she received the Ally of the Year Award at the 2017 Australian LGBTQ Awards, and in 2018, she attended the inaugural New Zealand LGBTQ Awards Ceremony as their proud ambassador. Movie Roles After Xena the Warrior Princess In the early 1990s, Lucy Lawless began working towards building a career in film. She was selected for several minor roles until she was given the major role of Xena in the 1994 film Hercules. Her character received a lot of traction at the time, but the minute she appeared in the spin-off series of Hercules, Xena the Warrior Princess, she became the star of the show. Years after the end of the show, Rubers began to spread among her fans about her possible retirement from the film industry because she wasn't making TV appearances anymore. However, reliable sources have revealed that Lucy is actually still actively involved in the movie industry. In fact, she played a recurring role in TV series Battlestar Galactica as the character Dana Byers for over four years, and it may surprise you to know that she was also the voice of some of your favorite characters in popular TV shows. In 2008, she voiced the character of Diane Prince Wonder Woman in the superhero film Justice League The New Frontier. She later voiced Queen of the Ants in the TV series Adventure Time. She also appeared in the popular series CSI Miami, and her role there was brief. In 2008, she played the role of Aspen in Adam Sandler's movie Bedtime Stories. A few years later, she was cast for the role of Lucretia, that's Batiatus' wife in the star's original series, Spartacus, Blood and Sand. Her most recent movie role was in 2021 when she portrayed the character Alexa Crow in the two seasons of the TV series, My Life is Murder. Now, Lucy's still interested in appearing in more movies as she continues to sharpen her talent and grace screens. She relaunched her music career. So Lucy actually started singing in the late 1990s she even performed on Broadway for a couple of years before deciding to focus solely on her film career. However, in the past few years, she has resumed singing. Even though she did not intend to resume her singing career, she was encouraged to give music another try after she emerged as the runner-up on the reality show Celebrity Duets. More recently, Lawless has returned to her musical theater roots by leading a timely show called Pleasure Dome, the musical back in her homestead of New Zealand. On the 13th of January, 2007, she made her solo debut in the Roxy Theater in California. The event was sold out with tons of people gathered to witness her singing. 
She is currently known as an amazing singer and is still working towards elevating that music career. Lucy is a relentless and passionate activist. One aspect of Lucy's life that her diehard fans may not know is about her activism. She has had to sacrifice time, money, and resources to fight for causes that she believes in. She has contributed immensely to climate activism by campaigning endlessly and utilizing her influence to make a difference. In May 2009, she was given the position of climate ambassador for an independent global campaign network, Greenpeace. Lucy has gone as far as risking her life, career, and her reputation to curb oil exploration and other activities that could be considered harmful to the climate. In February 2012, she was arrested, charged for burglary because she and a few other Greenpeace activists boarded an oil drilling ship at a port in New Zealand. They remained on the boat for 77 hours and refused to leave because the aim was to stop the ship from leaving for the Arctic to take part in oil exploration. She stated that her reason for the act was logical. She also said, I believe passionately that renewable energy is the way of the future. We don't have to go to the ends of the earth to suck out every last drop of oil. Instead, we need to smarten up and begin the transition to a clean, green, sustainable energy future. And right now, that means keeping Shell out of the Arctic. Now, even though her intentions were pure, the legal price of her actions was a prison term of 10 years if convicted. Now, this period was one of the most trying times of her life, but she did pull through. On June 14th, she pled guilty to trespassing charges and was ordered by a New Zealand judge to pay a minor fine and to complete 120 hours of community service. To date, Lucy has refused to give up on efforts to promote an eco-friendly society. Some may say she is now an eco warrior princess. Lucy's Charity Works Lucy Lawless is one of the celebrities who has contributed greatly to charity organizations. She even stated in an interview that the manner in which she was raised inspired her decision to become a successful person and affect change in the world. Over the years, she spent a lot of time and resources in the name of fundraising for people who are in need. She's currently a member of the board of trustees of the charity arm of Starship Children's Hospital called the Starship Foundation. She's contributed immensely to the foundation with the aim of supporting the patients and staff in the hospital who need help. She's also attended several fundraising events to show her support by contributing privately and publicly. Lucy is so passionate about helping others that even her fans have decided to follow in her footsteps. Her official fan club even designated September 21st as the day when all of her fans around the world perform charity acts in her honor. Lucy Lawless may not be a warrior princess on TV anymore, but she certainly is showing up in other important aspects of life as a warrior princess who's determined to have a positive effect on the world. So which of these facts about Lucy Lawless caught your interest the most? Let us know in the comment section below and check out the next video in this series.